I asked you guys oh yeah I didn't even say hi did I let's do that again <laughs> Hi guys and welcome back to a brand new video. So today's video, um, I'm gonna be doing a q and A. I asked you guys last week what videos you guys wanted to see this week and so many of you guys said please do an updated q and A. So here I am, I am gonna be answering you guys' questions um, today. So I have literally like no idea what questions I've been sent. I'm gonna go on my Instagram, check all the questions and just do this really nice chilled sit down at Q&A and updated one because like literally I don't even remember the last time I did one. So I think it's needed. Q&A and updated Q&A is definitely needed. So without further ado, let's jump in to the video. What the hell is this? Okay, let's jump in to the video. I'm gonna go on Instagram and look at all the lovely questions that you guys have asked me on my recent post. So let's go. And I'm just gonna answer them in like random orders because there's quite a few questions to go through, that's for sure. Okay, so the first question is, what is your favorite um, ice cream flavor? So my favorite ice cream flavor would have to be either strawberry, I know it's so cliche, either strawberry or mango. Yeah, or the combination of them two, perfect. So yeah, I, yeah, I definitely love those two, mm, yes. Next question is, how do you deal with haters? I feel like I've definitely answered this question before, but one way I personally deal with haters is I literally just block it or delete it or like if I receive like a hate comment on YouTube or one of my videos, I'll just delete the comment. Um, if I receive a hate on my Instagram, I'll just delete the comment. I just don't want to spread negativity. My YouTube channel is all about spreading positivity, love. So if I see any negative comments or hate or anything like that, I just delete it straight because there's always going to be people who um, disagree with what you put out or you, there's always going to be people who dislike you for no specific reason and honey that's fine that's you you do you boo i'm gonna do me so that's all that matters at the end of the day like i always say this to everyone like no matter what you do in life there's always going to be people who just just agree with you like they just don't understand what you do or like they just if it's i don't know you're always going to get people who just don't agree with you or just don't like the stuff you put out and that's perfectly fine everyone is entitled to their own opinion and i respect that like if you don't like it just don't watch my videos there's no need to like leave hate comments like there's some stuff that people do that i just don't agree with but i ain't gonna go and like write hot hate comments but you know everyone to themselves like you're always gonna get people who just disagree with you or just don't like you for no reason and they'll just leave hate comments so yeah, the best way to do it is just overcome it and allow it, like, just delete it, get over it, move on. Next question is, will I be traveling this year? Okay, so, um, if you haven't realized, I haven't really left the UK in a very long time, in a couple of years, I would say, yeah, the last time I left was when I went on my honeymoon to Dubai. I had an amazing time, don't get me wrong, I loved it. it obviously, it's your honeymoon, so you, yeah, you're gonna love it. I had the worst experience ever. Like, my anxiety for traveling hit rock bottom. I had like major, major, major panic attacks, like when I was traveling, when I was flying. And it was like a really, really, really bad experience. I never knew that I had like a major anxiety of traveling, but um, apparently I do, and I discovered it on my honeymoon perfect but yeah when i was like in the plane traveling i had like the biggest panic attack ever i felt like i was gonna die and um, i was crying non-stop everyone had to come like run over to me see if i was okay it was just a really bad experience and the same coming back like and then i discovered that i have a huge like anxiety of traveling i just don't like going places where i don't I don't know how to describe it. It's going to be really bizarre to you guys. If you don't suffer with anxiety, like travel anxiety, then you won't really know where I'm coming from. But I hate going places where I don't feel safe and I don't have my... I don't know how to describe it. But basically, when you're in the sky, you're in you're in the, like, you're in the sky. So, like, if I feel anxious or if I, if I feel nervous, I have nowhere to kind of get me back to my safe haven, which is like... I don't know how to describe it. But it's like, I have anxiety of traveling. So... Put it that way, I have an anxiety of traveling, so I haven't been traveling a massive deal. So, 
yeah that's, but like i love traveling i love going to different places i love seeing new places i love going to different cities and stuff like that so i go to a lot of cities like i drive down if you haven't realized we drive down because um i feel like it's more safer um i i'm, I'm on the ground so if i feel like i need to like stop the car for any reason if i'm like feeling a bit panicky and stuff like that um yeah so i find it more safer driving than catching public transport the last time i catched a, a train was again a good couple of years ago so i don't remember the last time i have so yeah that's why i haven't really been traveling much lately because of my anxiety so yeah but to move on to the next question am i planning a trip soon me and my family are talking about a family vacation um so we're kind of talking about it we're kind of like booking places and stuff so there might be a holiday coming soon but i will keep you guys posted i will let you know because i want to obviously feel comfortable like traveling and like, it's going to be a bit better because obviously i'll have my family and stuff with me but I'm not gonna promise anything it just depends on how i feel at that time and yeah so this took a very long time to explain that but yeah basically i have like travel anxiety like yeah okay i'm moving on <laughs> next question is what would you do if you hit a million subscribers okay so if i hit a million subscribers i think i would genuinely just sit there and cry like i would just bore like i would just sit there and cry like if I hit 100k subscribers, I'll cry. Like, that's a huge achievement. I already hit, like, the 50 mark. I passed that and I did shed a few tears. Because it means a lot to me because I built my subscribers from, like, one subscriber to where I am right now. And I'm very, very proud of that. Like, it's a massive achievement. I may look like a small YouTuber compared to all of these huge YouTubers out there. But I never, ever, ever... Which actually takes me to the next question. How do you not compare yourself to other YouTubers? One thing I never, ever do is compare myself to others. Because you should never do that. Because everyone is in their lane. Everyone's doing them. And you have to just keep... By the way, this the neighbors next door is just doing something in the bang and it's just really frustrating when i decide to film then he decided to... yeah okay can you hear that okay so yeah so like i mentioned i try not i try not to compare myself to others because it's so hard not to like compare yourself to other like every like what humans we all compare ourselves to other people and it's just absolutely like fine like we do that but i try not to because i don't want to look at others and be like oh i wish i had that or like oh i wish i was as big as that like never like i try not to because you just have to keep in mind that you are on your way you're on your own path you're on your own journey and that's fine if it takes me a good couple of years to hit like 100k subscribers 1 million k subscribers then that's absolutely fine but you have to just keep in mind that you are on your own journey and they are where they are and that's fine and you are where you are and that's absolutely fine you don't need to compare yourself to others like, it is really hard but i am like focusing on me and focusing on how i can achieve bigger things and how i can work my way up and like build my subscribers and that's kind of all that matters right now is just kind of work on yourself and that's one advice i would give you guys anyone who's watching out there um it's just kind of focus on you don't compare yourself to others that's one thing i like swear by is do not compare yourself to others like as hard as it can be maybe focus on you that's the most important thing next question is could you please film a room tour by the way i love your videos and i love your positive energy thank you very much i try to be positive as positive as i can be even though before i filmed this video i was genuinely just sitting in my bed crying my eyes out but we're gonna move on um please film a room tour i will film a room tour really soon like i'm quite happy with how my room is looking so yeah if you guys want to see a room tour leave it down below and let me know if i get 3000 likes in this video i will do a room tour so get liking people so if you want a room tour then make sure you like this video another question um i got asked is how do you build an instagram following any tips so one tip i would say for building an instagram following is hashtags hashtags are so important you can hashtag anything you want but honestly like hashtagging is so important if you want to build your followers then just put as many hashtags as you want if you're wearing like a really nice funky top just put hashtag top hashtag where you got it from hashtag fashion hashtag 
style hashtag there's so many different hashtags you can put out but definitely one advice i would say is hashtagging go crazy hashtag all you want but hashtagging will definitely get you more followers and it will get you more recognition so you're welcome <laughs> okay another question i seem to get asked a lot is where do you see yourself in 10 years okay so this is a very tricky question like okay i feel like i answered this too but anyways um i've got a new version of it anyways okay so i was having a little think about that actually the other day and i was like sitting down and i'm like amina where do you see yourself in like 10 years i was having a little think and one thing i have realized is like don't set yourself like it's important to set yourself a target, but don't pressurize yourself and be like, oh my God, okay, so five years, where am I gonna see myself? Am I gonna have this, this, this? Like, you can't because you don't know what the future holds. Like, I could I could no longer be here tomorrow. Like, tomorrow, like, I could not even be here on the earth. Like, I can't really set myself a huge target like that, like five years or 10 years, because I don't even know if I'm gonna be here tomorrow. So one thing I've kind of been teaching myself lately is just live your life to the fullest, like live every day as it comes, because tomorrow's not tomorrow's not promised. So like, I don't wanna give myself a massive like target and be like, okay, where do you see yourself in five years? Where do you see you in 10 years? Because I don't even know if I'm gonna have tomorrow, but I don't even know if I'm gonna have next year. So like, I just, what I'm thinking about is obviously I do set myself targets, like daily targets, like, so today I wanna to achieve this, 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 this. I always set myself little targets, like, it's important because otherwise you can get so distracted, especially working from home, you can get super, super distracted, like, there's Netflix just on my laptop, there's bloody social media that you can just sit on for hours and hours and it can just distract your time. So one thing I have taught myself recently is just live your life as it is and love every moment of it but giving yourself targets are like important like just little targets like i would buy inshallah like what next year i'd want to obviously hit 100k like subscribers like that would be amazing for me but i don't want to push put the pressure on myself if i didn't achieve it like i don't want to be like oh my god i didn't achieve it because of this, this, this. i don't want to do that so take it easy take a chill pill and just enjoy every day as it comes like you know that's the best you can do so next question is can you talk arabic yes i can say a few like phrases in arabic and i can speak a little bit of arabic but not much like a couple of years ago if you asked me this question i could yeah i could probably put a few sentences together and be absolutely fine like speaking arabic but like because i haven't spoken arabic in so many years like i find it really hard so hence why i said to you guys last ramadan i'm finding it really hard to read the quran so i kind of read it slowly slowly so yeah i can speak a little bit kif halik <laughs> that's such a cliche um and a um oh my god what else mm shoot a uh, shoot a smack um then you reply with it's me amina my name is amina um yeah like stuff like that like just like cliche like little senses like i can put together and i not speak but like a proper full-on combo nah honey not anymore <laughs> next question is your husband is from india do you want to go there to see your husband's country and do you ever watch indian movies if yes which is your favorite indian movie okay so um yes my husband is half indian and half african um he's half Gujarati and half malawi i think i've mentioned this before but um yeah so he is half half um do i want to go to india um, it's not really a country that I want to go to like it's not something that's on my wish list so he's never asked me like oh let's go to India and like and stuff like that so I don't see us going to India anytime soon like it's never really it's not really something that we've ever talked about so I don't think so and have I watched any Indian movies I have watched a few I really like Indian movies I love the like storyline behind it obviously I have to put English subtitles because obviously I want that I want stand it but um yeah I I really enjoy Indian movies because they have a good storyline behind it like I love um okay what's the what's the name I can't like I don't know the names but I know um Ash Ashika Ashika 1 and 2 I watched that that's a really really sad movie uh the second one especially like I cried so much I watched Jani is it Janima or Jan or something like that 
the one with Shahid Kapoor, the really old one. Yeah, watch that, really like that. Um, there's a few others that I've watched, but I can't like pronounce it properly, so I'm not gonna even try. So yeah, I have watched a few and I quite enjoy it. Yeah. Okay, last but not least, because this video is gonna be super, super long. Um, how do you keep your hijab on when everything and everyone seems to be against it? Do you think it's compulsory? Okay, so um, this is a very controversial question. A lot of people are gonna have like their own opinions about it and stuff like that, but for me, Personally, like I can't go a day without like a like out out without my hijab because this is kind of my security Like I'd feel naked walking outside without a hijab Whereas some people it's completely different for them They could walk out without the hijab and they'll be absolutely fine. Like it's it's normal like so everyone is different so that's kind of a a hard, a hard question to answer if you know what I mean but for me personally like I would feel naked without my hijab so I would never be able to just walk outside without my hijab I'd feel like something's missing and um, so for me the hijab is so important it's like it's kind of like a safe haven it's like it's just something I keep really close to my heart so yeah okay so I think I'm gonna leave it here because this is so long and I think I've answered the majority of you lot's questions. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, don't forget to smash that thumbs up. And also make sure you press the notification bell down below so you can be notified when I upload my videos because YouTube has done this stupid thing where if you don't press the notification button, you literally won't see my videos, which makes me really sad because I spend a lot of time on my videos. So, and I put a lot of like hard work into it. So I'd really appreciate it if you guys would press the notification button down below. But yeah, um, I think, this is the end of the video it definitely is the end of the video because yeah okay anyways i shall see you guys in my next video really really soon so definitely keep your eyes peeled and i love you all so 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 much